Insurance has been associated with the maritime and shipping sector since the dawn of shipping industry. Vessel and cargo at sea are prone to risk arising from maritime adventure and hence are insured against them either for a voyage or for a duration of time. This is mainly guided by whether or not the vessel is voyage or time chartered. Harlan machinery insurance and protection and indemnity insurance are the most common types of insurance that one might come across. H&M and P&I insurance mostly covers all the sectors of marine insurance apart from piracy and war risk. Piracy and war risk are mostly included separately under war risk policy of maritime insurance due to two main reasons. The first reason is to avoid dispute over deductibles which are not included in the war risk policy. And the second, the provision for a separate section for war risk enables underwriters to charge a higher premium and set out terms of cover in an event of damage incurred due to an act of war. One striking example for this can be the vessel Morning Glory, which has been in the news quite a lot in the last month due to its hijacking and forced involvement in an act of piracy by the Libyan rebels. The vessel and the crew were forced to load crude oil and was en route to its potential buyers when intercepted by the US Navy SEALs. If the vessel owner or charterer has been protected under the war risk policy, the insurer is liable to indemnify them for the loss of freight wages for the crew, loss of cargo and any such loss incurred due to the act of war. The marine insurance sector is also evolving with the hurdles presented by the modern world and hence a constant approach towards indemnifying the assured for his loss is the key to a successful insurance market.